Blessed beloveds, I am Astarius Miraculi. I love you so much, and today I am here to share with you the rhythm of Scorpio, some of the wisdom that is held within the sign Scorpio very significant to all of us in the sense that Pluto, which is the ruler of Scorpio, is going to make another square to the planet Uranus on the 16th of March, which is 10 days from now. This is the 6th of March on which uh, I am shooting this video. Uranus rules humanity and Pluto, death, regeneration, transformation. Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, so even though that which I'm about to share is particularly applicable to those who are born under the sign of Scorpio, it's also very applicable to many of us who are a part of humanity in the sense that Uranus, which is being squared by Pluto, that rules Scorpio, is the planet of humanity. Uranus, the planet of humanity. So humanity is being very powerfully impacted by Plutonian and Scorpionic frequencies right now. So here we are, the rhythm of Scorpio. From dungeons of the scorpion sting to mountaintop on eagle wings to regenerate light of dark undertakings and ordain death as life in the making mystical, magical root of the tree unyielding Scorpio's will to be. I am a well where secrets dwell. I can know it, but I won't show it. You may compel, yet I will not tell, and though I feel it, I won't reveal it. Courage, wisdom, power filled, fearless fighter, invincible will, strong desire, penetrating obstacles, disintegrating, shrewd, ruthless, dominating, beware of jealousy and hating, woe beyond to the rotted seed, come transformation, I will be freed, master of Pluto, possessing extremes, one who knows no in-between, the coldest cold, the hottest hot, who is lovingly remembered, else bitterly forgot. The biggest big, the smallest small, extreme I am, else nothing at all. Intense, magnetic, creative, perceptive. See right through people, intuitive, reflective. At my best, in the midst of great stress, will do or die in my quest for success. Curious philosopher aggressive and keen 
whose words can be sharp as a scorpion sting. Stop being sarcastic, hot-tempered, and vicious, distrusting, rebellious, and spitefully suspicious. Emotions like a laser and self-contained. I dam up the river and direct the rain. Most powerful passions held back in me. But Lord have mercy when the dam breaks free. In me, the mysteries of life are kept. Did you know you traveled while you slept? That though you died, life never left. That life and death are the in and out breath of God in you who breaks the spell, reveals the real truth of heaven and hell. I must trade my scorpion sting, thus to earn my eagle wings, ever God vision to extend, till kingdom come I will ascend. I am Scorpio. And so the rhythm of Scorpio, this is a selection from my book, Feast of the Zodiac, Wisdom of Astrology. And uh, so looking at the first stanza here, from dungeons of the scorpion sting to mountaintop, on eagle wings to regenerate light of dark undertakings and ordained death as life in the making, mystical, magical root of the tree, unyielding Scorpio's will to be. Scorpio is a frequency that teaches us about the sacred alchemy. The alchemy of transforming base metals into gold. The alchemy of transforming poison into potion. We learn of this wisdom of alchemy through Scorpio. There is an unyielding quality to those who are Scorpio and those who are Scorpionic. You know, if you have a strong placement of the planet Pluto in your chart, or you have other planets in Scorpio other than the Sun, there could be some strong applicability for you there. I am well where secrets dwell. I can know it, but I won't show it. You may compel, yet I will not tell, and though I feel it, I won't reveal it. One of the shadow pieces of Scorpio is getting caught in the pain of secrets, the pain of privacy, when there is too much hiding. Sometimes in the effort of one to hide the essence of self from others, there is also the tendency to hide much of self from self. The greater wisdom of Scorpio that is offered by the ruling planet Pluto is that wisdom of the uncovering of the secrets. For Plutonian energy has to do with revealing that which has been hidden and revealing that which is secret. And Scorpio in the more exalted expression, in the more evolved expression of being, is not fearful of being in the emotional honesty of sacred guts on the table. You know, there is no discomfort in one knowing uh, the inner core of Scorpio when Scorpio is operating from that more exalted place of his, her beingness. There is a great transcendence. Courage, wisdom, power, feel, fearless fighter, invincible will. There is a courage and there is a great wisdom that exists within Scorpio and the power of a will and a desire that pierces through. You know, desire is a frequency of, you know, the DE relating to deity, relating to God and the siring, like the siring of a child, or the giving birth of a child. So desire is really a frequency of knowing that you can have what it is that you want. And that's one of the things that we see as a powerful and a fierce determination that exists within Scorpio is a desire that will ultimately fulfill itself. It's also important to realize that Scorpio is the ruler of the eighth house of the zodiac along with its ruling planet Pluto. 
And the eighth house represents universal assets. All of the assets that are, were, or ever will be. And that's one of the reasons why when Scorpio sets his, her mind to having something, there's that feeling that it should absolutely be so. It's not easy for Scorpio to let go of the idea of having something that they want because of the universal assets. They literally represent the rulership of that which constitutes all of the blessedness that is, was, or ever will be. Master of Pluto, possessing extremes, one who knows no in-between, the coldest cold, the hottest hot, who is lovingly remembered else bitterly forgot, the biggest big, the smallest small, extreme Scorpio is else nothing at all. So there are extremes and one of the shadow pieces is reflected through the extremes. You know, when the extremes become too excessive, there is a tendency to minimize the maximum having a minimum appreciation for whatever is available, it would be much more empowering to turn that around and maximize the minimum. Because when you maximize the minimum, the minimum becomes the maximum. Intense, magnetic, creative, expressive, reflective that is. Intense, magnetic, creative, perceptive, see right through people, intuitive, reflective, at my best, in the midst of great stress will do or die, in my quest for success. There again is that powerful determination. There's also a tremendous amount of psychic awareness that is available. Scorpio can see right through situations and see right through people, can get to the bottom and the core of that which is hidden and unseen. Emotions like a laser and self-contained, damming up the river and directing the rain. It's important to not allow emotional constipation. That can be one of the shadow pieces of Scorpio, emotional constipation. You know, emotions are meant to flow. Emotional honesty is extremely important. The opposite sign of Scorpio is Taurus, you know, which is ruled by Venus, the planet of harmony. So Scorpio can find its way into the harmonization of life through drawing in the frequency of Taurus, which is the opposite sign because Taurus and Scorpio, Scorpio and Taurus, come together to reveal one another to each other. In Scorpio, the mysteries of life are kept. Did you know you traveled while you slept, that though you died, life never left? That life and death are the in and out breath of God in you who breaks the spell, reveals the real truth of heaven and hell. And so, all of the mysteries are contained within the frequency of Scorpio. We can pierce to the core of the mystery, like the mystery of death. You know, that, that life and death are the in and out breath. When we are born into physicality, we die to the realm of spirit. When we die to the realm of the physical, we are born to the realm of spirit. And so life and death really is the in and out breath of the God essence that exists within all of us. There really is no such thing as death. There is change. There is transformation. There can be the laying down of a body, but the body is not really the life force that we are. The body is animated through the life force that lives within the body that is actually spirit. And Scorpio carries the wisdom that unveils these mysteries. I must trade my scorpion sting, thus to earn my eagle wings, ever God vision to extend, till kingdom come I will ascend. And so, Scorpio is a sign that has more symbols than any other sign. It's symbolized by the scorpion. And the scorpion is one that would sting its own self to death before it allows its adversary to kill it. There's that kind of fierce energy that is there. But then Scorpio is also ruled by the eagle, 
the high-flying eagle who has the incredible vision and that's where the psychic ability comes in with Scorpio. Scorpio is also ruled by the snake and the snake is the transformation. You know, the snake, the snake is also that symbol of alchemy that has to do with transforming the poison into potion. Interestingly enough, when one is bitten by a snake, the actual antidote that one that is built, that is made in order to heal, is an antidote that is made from the poison itself. So the poison and the potion have a synergy, and Scorpio carries the wisdom that helps to unfold that mystery unto all of us. One, another one of the symbols of Scorpio is the dove, you know, which is that bird that is the symbol of love, and of course the expression of the dove aspect of Scorpio is brought forth when Scorpio is drawing in the energy of Taurus, the opposite sign, which is ruled by Venus. You know, that is the love frequency and also corresponds with the dove. And then Scorpio is also symbolized by the phoenix, that mythological bird that builds a funer funeral pyre of frankincense and myrrh and then sets fire to itself and resurrects out of its own ashes a new and a more glorious bird. So that's the download on Scorpio. I am Astarius Miraculae. I love you so much. And my website is Astarius.com. A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com. I have some amazing treasures there for you. I have a free download that is available for you on my music page. You can go over and claim that. I also encourage you to partake of my CDs, which you can get either via ordering a CD or digital downloads. And I have two books which you can get by ordering the hard copy or the digital download. All of that is available on my site. Some of the marketing strategists say that I give a little too much. You know, that if I gave a little bit less in these videos and so forth, that I could create even more sales. But I would rather not adhere to that particular marketing tactic uh, and instead trust that there are great many out there who get the value of that which I am offering and who will receive those offerings that I freely give but will also support by way of partaking of my products and services. I'm also a psychic astrologer you know, and available for consultations. You can get a number by which I can be reached you know, and I do these readings uh, in person by phone and by Skype. I'm located in the Los Angeles area in California. So thank you so much for your loving support. I'm going to keep putting these messages out there to do my part in bringing forth the transformation uh, in this wonderful world of ours. Again, my site is astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com. Aho Ashe. Amen, namaste, hotep, in la kesh, alakin, shalom, satnam, harion.